So three years ago, I left the job that I had been working at for uh, almost 18 and a half years, right? And decided to open up my own business, uh, creating stuff. So if you want, you can take a look at some of the stuff that I make and I'll throw up a few photos right now so you can see. So today I want to show you how to make a dragonfly out of a spark plug, some spoon or four candles and a nail, right? And then you can uh, glue on the gemstones for the eyes. And then I just paint the body of the spark plug, different colors. Um, and then I weld a quarter 20 nut on the bottom. And then I'll show you all the different uses that you can get by putting that on there. So let's go. So I was gifted some spoons, right? So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use these right here as the wings uh, for this dragonfly that I'm gonna show you. I don't have enough of the Demitage spoons, I have to order more. Or you can even go to Walmart and you can pick up like four packs of these. I think they're like $1.25 now. Um, I haven't used these in a while, but these aren't bad because they're they're a bit thicker than the ones that I order from this uh, website called Websterant Store. Because uh, I just buy, I buy them by the case of 50 now, so I make a lot, of, a lot of stuff with them, right? So let me give you a quick rundown of the materials that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a spark plug. Um, I got lucky and found a guy selling. I bought 400 old stock, new old stock, NGK. It was 404 plugs I got for uh, 85 bucks, right? So a great deal. So you can use old ones if you want. The first ones that I made, I did. I just brake parts, cleaned them out, um, you know, just to get all the oil and stuff off. So the first thing that you want to do is when it's done, you want this hooked part of the spark plug facing down. It just makes it easier uh, to glue your gemstone eye into position, as you can see here, okay? So when you're welding, you want to weld with everything upside down. So what I do is I take a soapstone, or you can just use a marker, and then mark where the wings are going to go. So I want the wings halfway up, and what I do is I kind of catch the light will shine and make a mark, right? You, and I just line it up from the bottom of that curved part. And then I just make the line across. That mark is actually dried out, right? So you can see that there, you see, right? So you can see that mark that I did there. And then I'll mark the other side. And through trial and error, I found that it's it's best to mark it. It just makes it easier so you get the wings uh, welded on into the right position. So the next step is we're gonna take our four spoons and we want the handles. Um, I just use bolt cutters that I have mounted to my uh, bench top to cut them. Um, just use what you have. Uh, you can even just use your right angle grinder with a cutting wheel and cut them off. Um, just the bolt cut is a lot easier. So let's do that now. I usually uh, cut them two at a time. I'm just going to cut these before the curve. So I don't want these to be too long. And doing the two at a time is because you want to make sure they're even from side to side. And if you have one wing a little longer than the other, um, that's fine. Just want to match that on the other side. All right. So there they are cut. All right, so when I was at the bolt cutters, I cut off the head of a nail. That'll become the tail, right, on the body of the spark plug for the dragonfly. Now, save this part. I use these as eyes for hummingbirds that I make out of spoons and butter knives. And I will do another video on that if someone wants me to. Comment, let me know. I'll be more than happy to show you what I came up with uh, for that design. So next step is to bend these ends over to make that welding surface just a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna get out the torch and we'll get going on that. All right, so I'm just gonna heat the end of the spoon and then I'll bend it over. You can see here I made a couple of marks on the pliers. So, you know, I can make sure I bend them all at the same length, okay? So, yeah. So let's fire this up. All right. I don't know if you're gonna see the top of that. To get my glove on. See, see, usually this gets hot enough to uh, bend. I don't have any worry, but after this one, I'll, I'll uh, 
after this one's done, I'll just bend the rest of them, and then we'll come back to you, okay? See, it's red hot right there. We'll take a second. Check the line. And what I do is kind of just the first hook around on it. Heat it up again. So, you know, I use the pliers that kind of draws the heat out of it. And these can get brittle and break on you. That's why you want to heat it up. I get it hot again, and then I just use a hammer here. Flatten it out. Ooh, you're kind of moving. Sorry about that. And there you go. So there's one bent and ready. And let me do the other four real quick. I mean, the other three to make four. All right, so before we get welded, I want to show you, I, I guess it's a jig if you want. So I just ground this plate, and this is what I weld off of. So I just welded a nut onto there that pretty much holds the spark plug in position. Um, and I used to use this for the height, but by marking the spark plug, you don't really need that. You just hold it in place and then weld it on. Um, I did jump ahead. Uh, so I did uh, go back and grab a marker. Um, I actually like the marker um, to mark it. <laughs> That's why it's a marker, right? Uh, instead of the, sto the soap stone. Um, so yeah, I did that. So use a marker, it's just better. It's easier to see, especially with the hood on, okay? So let me get set up to weld and we'll get these going. So we're ready to weld here. Um, the strap on my apron broke, so <laughs> I just lay it on my lap. Um, <clears throat> remember, you go to weld, you wanna make sure the open end is facing up. So we're gonna put that in place. And then we're gonna grab our spoon handle. Sometimes the spark plug might wanna move a little. Um, I'll just lay a hammer on top of it. And I will push, hold the plug into place. Now when you start the weld, throw the first part of the weld onto the spark plug. It'll take most of the heat and then you just kind of work it right down onto the spoon handle and then stop. You can blow through real easy. So be careful on that part. Just takes a little bit of touch, um, but not that hard to do because I'm certainly no welder and I can do it. Now on the second one, I like to give a little bit of angle, as you can see on that second wing. So I'll do that when I hold it in place. The spark plug's a little girthier than the ones I normally use, so it's uh, moving around on me, but we'll conquer that issue here. I'm gonna line it up and tack it on. All right, and now while it's warm, if you need to, you can adjust your wings to make sure they're parallel to each other. All right, so there's the first two. Now we'll flip it over. I just drop the hammer down or anything heavy on top of the set of wings that we just welded on. And then I'll hold these in place. Just wanna make sure you match um, from side to side on where you're holding it. So they're even. Okay, push that, there we go. While that's still warm, I'm gonna look and just see how the gaps are in relation to the uh, other side. Okay, so there those are. All right, so now we want to weld the nail to the end of the spark plug. The grounding won't work through it, so what I do is I'll hold the nail with the grounding clamp for my welder. Lay it on top and then weld that on, and then we'll smooth it out with the grinder when I'm done. Right, so what I like to use is just the magnet. And I put that down, and then I can lay the dragonfly right there. Grab my nail. You're not gonna see this, I need it facing me. Um, and then weld this into place. I'll start on the nail, and then set up the, uh, the grinder and get ready to grind. All right, so let's just smooth this out. All right, and then I'm gonna put a wire wheel on my drill and just kind of hit and clean up the um, weld areas and the wings. I have to use this one. I have a, like a disc, a disc shaped one, but this will work.
All right, so there it is. One dragonfly, one spark plug dragonfly. Actually gotta clean that weld up a little bit more. One more step I gotta do is weld a quarter 20 uh, nut on the bottom of that. So what I do is I take three foot lengths of steel rod, uh, I believe five sixteenths, uh, and I weld a quarter 20 bolt to it. Um, so it becomes a yard stake. That way they can screw it right into the bottom. And then I also get people one of these. So this you can put into a plant to hold it in position, or they can take that off and then put that long three foot one and pop that out into the garden. Now, if you want, when you're done, uh, like I've done here, you can kind of scribble in a bit of a design. Um, you can use a Dremel if you have one, or you could just use your right angle grinder with a metal cutoff wheel. Just kind of hit it easy, right? I did these with the Dremel. Um, painting, uh, pretty straightforward. I use acrylic, but I, I do buy ones that can uh, go onto glass, right? So multi-surface, it'll say, or it'll actually have a picture of like a wine glass on it. Use those, or at the very least, just buy a tube of white and do a, a white base coat on the bottom of that so it'll adhere to it really good. And then you can do whatever colors you want on top of it. Um, I just, I used to use epoxy, but uh, right now I've just been using super glue to put the uh, gemstones in as eyes, like on here. And then I spray them with two coats of an exterior clear coat. Um, so whether it's used indoor or outdoors, um, that covers um, both applications. At first I was just doing indoor because I thought these would be plant stakes, but a lot of people are asking um, if they could go outside or be used out in a garden. So um, yeah, there we go. So what I also do with these is I do smaller, you know, I use the Demetase spoon handles to make smaller dragonflies. I make the tail not so long and I put them on a little display piece uh, with these carriage bolt mushrooms that I make. I could do a video on that too if someone would like to see it. Let me know in the comments. I don't know if they would be down or up, but let me know in the comments. Yeah. Uh, so I'll show you a picture of, I make a little display piece with it. So I'll show you a picture of that uh, right now. So if anyone makes one of these, uh, let me know in the comments. It'd be cool to just know if someone went for it and gave it a try. Not too complex, pretty straightforward and easy in my opinion. The first time I made these, uh, it took me close to six hours for three of them. It was a nightmare. But now I can knock out like six of these in an hour. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a story on the uh, spark plug dragonflies. So, um, I don't know, all the usuals, like, share, subscribe, all that, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if one person at least makes one of these, the video's worth it to me. So, have a great day, and do me a favor and keep creating stuff because creating stuff is cool, right? Be good, bye.